Hello everybody, this is uh, Khaled again with the OnStep uh, project, the uh, open source uh, free uh, telescope controller. And uh, today we will demonstrate another uh, part of the uh, uh, eco ecosystem of uh, OnStep, which is the smart hand controller right here. Uh, so this is uh, still in development, but it does work. So I wanted to show you um, uh, its features. Um, and uh, what you can what you can do with it uh, up to this point um, uh, before the release of this is the, the smart hand controller you you could interface to uh, on step uh, through a Wi-Fi application so an Android app uh, or um, a USB connection through uh, to a, a laptop or a desktop um, there is a, a basic hand controller but you can only do guiding with it uh, like moving fine movements and uh, not much else um, the smart hand controller was uh, uh, authored by uh, Charles Lemaire and Howard took took the code uh, from Charles Lemaire and integrated it into uh, OnStep uh, I think the original code was Wi-Fi based this one is ST4 based so uh, let me first demonstrate the there are two versions of the smart hand controller one of them is based on the Teensy uh, board. This one is based on the cheap uh, ESP32 uh, Wi-Fi board. So this is basically the, the, the ESP32. This is the Wi-Fi antenna, which is not used in this project. We're just using it as a CPU. And it is soldered to this PCB. This PCB is basically uh, still not yet released. There are buttons here. Um, there's an ST4 uh, socket here that connects to uh, to OnStep right here. This is the, the STM32 OnStep, but any OnStep should work. And they, they, we made sure that this is uh, compatible. And there is a small screen that goes in here. Okay, so there are two sizes of the screen. This is the, the larger one, 1.13 inch. Uh, the other one is 9, uh, 0.96 inch. Uh, but uh, but both do work. Uh, it the the the, f the firmware can be flashed using this micro USB, and I have already done that. Let me let me show you what happens when uh, when we start using this. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just connect it. Again, it goes through the, to to a, a six-pin uh, cable. Okay, and once you do that, you see the Teen Astro logo which is basically what uh, Charles de Mer called his project uh, it takes about 15 seconds for it to detect that there is an on step connected there is there is like a tone in between them and once it detects that then it will start saying that and you can see the the status now so basically it says the telescope is at home and the RA is increasing so it's not tracking and it's at 90 which is the north celestial uh, pole so let's uh, okay uh, ally start alignment Okay, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, uh, you, you can see the, okay, I have to move off the menu item so to make it visible in the, uh, um, on the screen. So what I'll do is that, like, uh, because the, the, the STM32 has a, um, a real-time clock and, uh, and the battery there, there is no need to enter the longitude, latitude, local time, and time offset. Uh, every time basically they are done they are stored there for you so we'll, I'll choose a line and I'll choose a one star so there is one two three etc so I'll choose one star a line and I'll choose uh, let us say uh, alpha lira which is which is uh, so what I'm doing here is that I'm, I'm just scrolling quickly through the constellations and then I'm, I'm looking for okay there is no L here okay L lira okay so alpha lira which is basically the uh, vega and it's west of the meridian so what, what i'll do is i'll say go to and then it says slew to target and while this is going on i'll just put the, the thing here and show you my laptop and you can see the pointer here is moving towards Lira so it should should come here and 
and B FATOS. So the the controller is, is connected to on step uh, and the uh, the smart hand controller is, is connected to on step. So uh, so the laptop is connected to on step and the smart ha smart hand controller are both connected to on step. Now what I did is that now uh, okay so now that it has reached its target uh, there is still something to be done which is basically align okay so what we'll do here is that we'll say uh, recenter the star and then and then align so uh, as I press the buttons here you can see the guiding the movement here okay so as if I'm, I'm positioning it and then I press here then it says alignment success and at that point uh, you can see that it's the RA is not moving uh, we're basically pier side is east so the telescope is east of the meridian pointing west s is sidereal tracking so it's tracking at the at the rate of the sky not at the rate of the planets or solar or, or, or the sun um, and then if i if i do a short press then it will say this is the azimuth and altitude and it will also show the uh, local time and the sidereal time and you can cycle through these displays uh, to get to the menu you 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 long press again Okay, and I'll just say go to, and let us say uh, we want to go to uh, M27. So the first catalog here is, is the Messier, so I'll just select M2 and keep going until that uh, M27. There you go. So this is M27, I'll just tell it to go. Uh, there is, it, it says here the magnitude of the object and the type, this is a planetary nebula. Okay, so do that, and then go to the, to the laptop again, and it's here going, moving to M27. And then it beeps, which means that it has reached the target, and again the So we reached M27 and the display is, is uh, coming uh, is displaying that. So we're we're on the target now. Uh, you know, at any point you can you can disconnect it, and the on step will continue to operate normally. You can also connect it to, uh, connect through the Wi-Fi and uh, and do uh, using the Android app everything. So basically, you can control it from any of the three. Methods, uh, Wi-Fi, USB, and an ST4 hand controller. Okay, so uh, that's about it for this uh, for this product, and I hope that uh, we will release this soon. As you see, the the firmware is is working. The, uh, the there is a, for this version of the board there is a jumper wire that needs to be connected, uh, but but it does work. There is no uh, issues with it except uh, the accuracy of the catalog can be better and uh, we're working to improve the catalog so basically replace the catalog with another catalog that that has uh, better uh, uh, accuracy for the for the objects and uh, uh, let me let me just show you one more thing which is basically I'll just go to the laptop here see that the the accuracy for the Messier catalog is good uh, the stars are not are not that uh, that great uh, will uh, will will work on that uh, but that is does not will not uh, stop us from releasing the, the hardware the, the firmware can be updated anytime um, and you can see that after after a while the um, the screen blanks so what you could do is that you could go in the in the screen and select so select the settings and then you can say the display you go to the display and then you can see the contrast and the dim dimming and uh, back 
not that uh, that easy to read on the, on the on the phone. But basically, there is a dim timeout and blank timeout, and you can select those. Um, you can turn the buzzer on off. You can do a meridian flip and then you can go in the configuration and change things and there is also the uh, the tracking menu so you can uh, you can change the tracking to stops tracking the sidereal the sidereal solar and of course there is lunar and then there is the the new features the uh, compensated full full compensated compensated Ref refraction only compensation off single axis dual axis uh, what else so there is there is also the parking you can you can do the park and park from here there is also uh, periodic error correction so you can play stop or clear the periodic error correction um, uh, what else is there sync of course so you can sync uh, you can sync uh, an object that you that you have slewed to uh, the alignment we've we've seen this uh, so anyway it's it's uh, it's another option and basically the um, the it's based on the sp32 will make it low cost so the sp32 is about eight dollars canadian i think the screen is uh, I think there are two versions one is two dollars and the other is like four or five dollars this is Canadian and then there is the buttons and capacitors and uh, the small resistor network here and, uh, and uh, so yeah so uh, we'll be releasing this soon and hopefully uh, people will make use of it